Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding Mr. Maker. What's going on? Nah, 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 I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see our visual, just go ahead and Google us. Let me just put it out there. Let's go ahead and Google us. We're on every single platform you can name. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to tap into our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. And I know y'all going to subscribe because we, we give you great content. But if you want to see exclusive content, you got to sign up for our membership. And I'm giving you a game right now. Let me tell you how you do so. Under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says sign up for a membership. Click that link. It takes you through all the process. Thank you in advance. We love you because y'all always see us and talk about how we can support the brand. We love what y'all doing. Keep doing what y'all doing. This is how we can keep doing what, what we doing. Subscribe for our membership. Go ahead. Thank you very much, and thanks for the support. We love you. Hey, man, we got a guy here today. Don't need an introduction, man. This guy right here is family. He comes on the show whenever he gets ready. I know y'all have, <laughs> y'all try to act whenever like he wants. Whenever he call me, his cameras is everywhere. They start coming out. I don't know if y'all seen Iron Man when the, the equipment just started moving by itself. I can say the nigga name right now. Two cameras will just pop up in here, man. Check it, man. PGF shouts in the building. What's happening? What's happening, man? What's Bless going on, me, man? It's always we in Atlanta. Let, let's just put it out there they, they, again. It's about to how many times? About five, four, five. Yes. I can't count. I can't count. But, but they, they always in the time. Y'all always here. I got to come see you. I can't. Definitely, you always show up. You always show love. Well, man. you told me if I don't check in, you know what I'm saying when I come down. <laughs> <laughs> what? I ain't never said no such thing. Never said no such thing. <laughs> let's talk about it, man. You know you got a new project out. I right, know. Right. Uh, Congratulations. Mikey. What's it called? Risky business. Risky business. Risky business. What yeah. kind of risky business you talking about? Oh man, I think those that know can comprehend. <laughs> uh, but it's just about um, street life. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know what come with it. A lot of my projects be about you know what I came from, what I grew up in. So it kind of talks about the ins and outs, the oh, risks okay. that people take, risks that um you know. They come with that, that that lifestyle. I almost thought you was talking about relationship because some people would say relationship that, is a risky business. That's a risky business too. You understand no, what I mean? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> seriously. <laughs> no, but so okay, so you just dropped this win? Uh this came out last Friday. Been a last week. Friday. How's it been going? Oh uh, man, it's just been a slow groove, you know what I mean? I haven't been doing heavy promotion on mm. the album because it was just something I wanted to get out. Get some more music to the streets. Give them something to listen to. You know what I mean? I got more projects coming behind this. But it was just something to get the people. It's an EP. Just something to get them folks. How many songs? Uh, It's a large EP. It's 12 songs. But Ooh. I still call it an EP. Oh, yeah, that's why I, when you said EP, I'm like. Because I kind of just put a bulk of music together. It, it wasn't a full project that I, you know what I'm saying, that I planned on putting, mm -hmm. planned on putting together. It was mm -hmm. something that was like my manager was on top of me like, hey. They need they need something. They need to hear some music. You need to get something out there like ASAP. So, you know what I mean? It wasn't rushed because the music was done, but I felt like I I needed to give them something to listen to. So. When was the last time you put something out before this? Oh, man, it's been a while. Was man. it when we when we yeah. came down and did that? Right, uh, right. I it's, think it was when we came down and did the... It's been uh, a while. When we it's came to your condo. A year uh, yeah, 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 it's been a year and something. Yeah, definitely. I, I may have put out a few singles in between there, but man, you know, life, life been life in. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been raising kids. Um, I've been losing partners. That's you know I mean? a serious thing. With this risky business that wow. you know what I'm saying, that goes around. So life changed and I kinda got away from the um just being so passionate and enthused about music because mm -hmm. so much is going on in life, you know what I mean? I started doing other avenues, other investments, trying to make um, you know, different things, you know what I mean? Different, different choices. Routes. Yeah. So in that aspect the music kind of got away from me, man, mm -hmm. just mentally, because I was going through so much mentally. But I think it's it's coming around. I have got past a lot that happened in life. You know what I mean? Now I'm back. You got to listen to it a little sorry, bit. Hold on. But the music helps with um, therapy. the therapy. I was about to say, with all the stuff that you just went through. Sometimes you can get in there and, and you don't, you don't want to express that. You don't want to feel that. You know what I mean? Me, myself, Why? I'm a Scorpio. 
So I have my. You want to suck like, everything and keep it in? I don't, but sometimes you get in there, you know how bad it's gonna hurt to say the stuff you want to say. So it's like, let me just hold. So you on. don't feel better after you let it go? I do, I do, I do. But sometimes I'm telling you, it's just like, hold up, this ain't the time to go in there. That's how I feel, and that's how I felt for like a year with the music. It was just like this. This it was ain't too the time. Soon. Yeah, it was so much going on, so much in my head. It was like I, I just don't need to go in there and speak on this. Let me just hold off and, and let time pass. And, and let it come back to me. I ain't want to force it. And that's how I felt like people like, man, you need to do some music. You need to do some music. Because mm-hmm. your fans want it. Right. But they, they, they at the same time, they, they didn't understand what, what was mean? going on mentally. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it was like, as much as y'all want to hear music, music ain't, ain't on my mind. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it was so many other things. I think, you know, um, you can't just uh, make it about yourself. Uh, you got fans. I, I, I am one of the big believers that when you close the door on different things because of what, the way you feel, you mm-hmm. wrong as hell because you got people <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got people out here who depending on that. Right. that you shouldn't have put them out. It's like if you had something you know was a valuable asset to the community right. and then you just say, I don't feel like doing it today. It's the same thing, y'all. I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> Definitely, man. I get where you're coming from. <laughs> Wait, it, it, it's, it's life that'll, that'll do it to you I'm telling I you man it. And I had them aspects where At one point it was like You know I'm, I'm through with the music At one point I'm just being honest It was like You know I'm going to take hold Another avenue Maybe get into promotion media Maybe managing an artist I felt like that at one point man I just didn't want to be On the scene as much After so much had occurred I just didn't It was so many questions being asked so much ins and outs. It was just like I wanted to avoid everybody and just fall behind the scene. You know what I mean? Like you said, music is therapy. So I might have still been doing music, but I just wasn't dropping it. Oh, you gonna be like Dr. Dre now? You just not gonna listening. drop it. You know, you got it. <laughs> yeah, it was like that. <laughs> it was like you know, I go down there at two three in the morning, and make two three songs, and just put them up for me. You know what I mean? No, I like, understand. You know, it took a lot for me to get back to. You know what? Let's open back up. Let's give these people some music. Let's give them something to hear. Shouts out to my manager, Fourway, man. He he helped me a lot while I was going through what I was going through. You know what I mean? You know, I don't want to call it a depression stage, but it was just a stage where I wanted to be left alone, man. I really did. But you got them boys, man, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, the way I ran up on you was watching that video that you did with your son. Right. And so that's important for family. Right. But when you think about family and you see a guy like you during these times, see, the reason Boss Talk 101 became a thing was because every time I looked around, I see my kids on the phone. So I wanted to be a part of that world so right. that I could interject something out there that maybe they They'll tune into me and I can use it as a decoy to right. take it away from some of those other things that's just not so, you know. And it's funny that you say that because that's that's more so what I did when I was taking this time off. I was more so with my kids. I know, I, started, I seen you. I started you. coaching. Um, my son, he played football. I, was I seen you. A 70 <laughs> team. Then my daughter, she's playing basketball, running tracks. So I'm being a father at the same time, yeah. you know what I mean? And um, like you said, the music is there. It's um, always therapy for me. I can always do it. But, you know, life is life. And you got bigger things that you have to handle before. You know what I mean? You could pursue that. And, that, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I was being selfish to a lot of other things. You know what I mean? While I was doing the music. So, like, you know what? Let me even this out and what? find a balance. I, let me say this. I, I was going to say, at the end of the day, what do you want out of the music? Out of the music, to be honest with you, I'm just passionate about it. I just love music. I love entertainment. I love the promotion. I love the, all parts of music. You know what I mean? So it's not like it's not my passion. But at the same time, you know, you have to just balance out that with life. And mm-hmm. that's just real. I don't care how big you get as an artist. You still got family. You got friends. You got kids. And, They're um, more important than the music. And, and I'm, I'm telling you. So it's to the point where, you know, I, I can balance it out now because I'm more mellowed and more settled with all the situations that occurred, and I'm, I'm, I moved past that. So now it's to the stage. Where, all right, let's get back to giving them what they want to hear. Yeah, you know? well, and I'm glad you got back to it again. The stories need to be told. The the it's stories, some stories. Are, yeah, it's and some the stories. people, yeah, people in this town, in this city, know it's some stories. You know what I mean? So 
that was a lot. So I know, you know what I mean, I'm gonna give them to him. I know you wanna hear the ends now. Everybody wanna know this, wanna know that. And uh, you know, you'll get a chance to hear it next time you tune into the album. You'll, you'll know what's up. Well, I, I wanna know what went into doing this album. How did you know who you was gonna use as a producer? How did you know who was your, you was gonna you know feature on this album? How did you how did you come up with the whole thing, or was it a timely process to where it happened over that whole year span, and you just kind of put it together as you went? Nah, I mean over the whole year I was still recording, I was still doing music, so I was making music. But it got to the end of the year where, like I told you, my manager Fowey, he was just on me heavy, like, bro, what? You didn't come too far to just got to let go to stop doing this. What you gonna do? And I'm like, man, you know what? All right, come on, let's let's do it. You know what I mean? I had got past a lot of the stuff I was going through, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. So um, I took a few songs that I had already had, you know what I mean, in the vault, put a few more together. Um, I had some features already from a couple of couple of tracks I had did before, man, and um, it all made sense. You know what I mean? The title of it being Risky Business, um. The timing, I think it all just it just was time for it to be released, man. So I enjoy. I, I definitely. That's how it came. I got it. Got to have my shout in the day's time, man. PGF shouts in the building, guys. Make sure you go and check him out, man. You know, I mean, risky business. Uh, you can stream it right now. Um, like um, one thing I can say, man. You said, and I heard you when we first started. You said you're gonna set this up as a trifecta, like other projects gonna come behind this. Oh, definitely. And, definitely. and that's I'm excited to hear. Do you already have name for those projects? I've got, man, so man, I've got Narcos too. You know, me and yep, DJ. Yeah. What about the What about Stay the name UGK on, PMC? I, the resurrection of Chad. Come Bumba. on, man. You ain't even do it, bro. A lot of they got a lot of work. That need to be done to it. Ain't nothing you could just half, you know what I'm saying, half ass, especially yeah. when you're dealing with that legend, you know what I mean, and that name. So I just didn't want to do it and not do it the way I wanted to do it. So, like, you know, it's there, the music is there, let's hold up and do it the right way when, I'm, when I'm ready to release it, you know what I mean? One thing I talk to a lot of my partners that's in the Fed, and he tell me, man, you got time. Don't don't rush nothing. Yeah, yeah. Don't rush nothing, yeah. you know what I mean? So, Ain't in no rush for anything. I'm, I'm, I'm patient with myself. I'm humble with myself. And um, I think everything going to prosper and come in a time when it's needed. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I yeah. think the rollout, I was telling little Kiki the other day, like when he came on the show, it's like the way you roll a project out. I seen that same thing in you. You one of the guys that I look at as an example of how people, when they're independent, should strive to roll out their projects. You know, uh, little Kiki is one that he does the same thing. Um, these guys are serious about the rollout. So what did you do different on this rollout than you normally would do the way you would normally do it back, you know, a year or so ago? Uh, man, I'm being honest. On this on this risky business, like I said, I expressed it was just something to get out to the people. You know what I mean? To get my voice back out there, to let people hear me again, let them know I was back making music. But there's a lot more bigger projects to come behind this. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I said, this was an EP to me, it was an EP. People seen so many songs on the track and feel like, oh, he did a whole album. Nah, it's just an EP to me because I had so many songs that I could have chose from to put on this album. And um, it, it's going to be some bigger projects, man. If they really want to see the roll, like, you just hold tight because I'm going to show you how you roll. You got anything that's on there comparable to that cocaine? Bought me everything. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> You right. Um, uh, you, actually, actually, I'm no, looking for that cocaine. Bought me everything, boy. I love that song, man. Right, right. Um, man, we got some songs on there. Um, bag drop featuring my boy OG Curve, Frank Castle. I'm a couple guys out of Florida. That song hard. Uh, it's a song called um Trafficking. I don't know if you that might, might. That might be the one. It might be some. That might be alley. the one. Might be the alley. You know that's my history. Right. I right. get real excited, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Right, and um, Boss Talk was a single. I ended up putting that on the album. You put it on there? Yeah, Boss Talk. That's why. That, you see, that's what happened. I knew yeah. something happened. Why I couldn't just use it like I want to. Uh, the, the song with Charleston White. It's on, it's on there. It's on there. Yeah, it's like I said, it's the EP. I kind of grouped a, a, a song of, that was already singles and some, some new songs I put out there, and just made it a project just to get something out there and let the people hear the music, man. Because they've been asking me, they begging me, my YouTube fan, my Instagram fan, show me you do what's up, you doing music, you doing music. And in the back of my head, like y'all leave me the fuck alone. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's time. So you know, I feel like I'm gonna I'm go ahead and get in my groove. And get these people what they ask. Well, I'm gonna have to ask you the, for it. I'm, I'm gonna ask you the same thing I asked um, uh, the Reds last night. Um, I heard y'all song. You know, y'all guys' motivation. You know, what I'm saying you guys pretty much. Uh, I love to hear y'all when y'all come together. 
Was he on this project? Not on this project. What's going on, man? We, we've got songs. Together. He told me that. Yeah, we got When we gonna get to hear him, man? Like I said, it's you a You know, nigga, the attitude, nigga. like crack, nigga. It's, you know a roll, it's, it's a rollout coming. <laughs> when, <laughs> nigga? <And it's> <laughs> when? You know what I mean? Nigga, in the attitude now. You know, it didn't, got, it didn't went too far, shit. It didn't went too far. <laughs> it went too far. I can go for that. I can go for that. When is it coming, line. man? Or when you guys think y'all gonna put it out? Man, I'm playing for this year, man. Um, I'm gonna give me give me three to six months for us to really get in and out. Like I said, we got a, two or three songs, but we need we need a couple more. You know what I mean to put the project. So you gonna do a whole project, maybe something yeah, we're like that. Yeah, gonna do a project together. Definitely. That'll be hard, man. man. Like I said, I told him last night. I said, man, y'all know y'all playing games, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got it. Y'all got it. You know, it's like it's a drought, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and you, y'all need to come on with it, man. Put right, it back right. in the streets, man. We we can't hold on to it, man. He he telling me his his excuse of why it ain't came. You telling me your excuse of why it ain't came. It's cool, <laughs> my nigga. Y'all done talked about this together. When he asks you, just go on and say, man, tell him it's coming, man, in a it's few coming, months. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> right, right. I ain't never coming out recognized. Did you ever think that, you know, um, I mean, you know, because we, we did meet you. I, I met you after you had linked with Charleston White, to be honest with you, just to be 100. Like, did you ever think that me and you and just the way that everything thrived with everybody that kind of linked, that things would grow and process the way they've done? I did. I, I, I seen it. You know what I mean? Because it was all good vibes. We all had, um, you know, positive intentions. And um, I always, I never doubted how That's far hard. you would go. How far I would go, or, or any of the people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people I meet in life, I kind of already can tell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Their ambition, their spirit, and where it's going to take them. So this don't surprise me at all. No, man, but I just really know that, you know, um, you guys, y'all really, um, you guys had some dope, you know, some dope runs, man. Like, is it anybody else that you look forward to working to the, working with that you've kind of connected with, but it hadn't, nothing hadn't came out yet, but you know that there's a possibility that it could happen? Uh yeah yeah definitely um me and the boy Pop Lord man I think we got a good sound together when we make music and we got a bunch like an, another guy got a bunch of songs with just we haven't dropped those records yet um I think me and him make a good sound um it's a couple guys I just want to work with that I haven't worked with as well too that I think um I would collab with well but I I reach out to those people you know what I mean and. Like I said, this year gonna be the year we we get it all out the way, man. What? You didn't tell us how many um, videos did you do to your album? Uh -oh. Oh, uh oh, on this, on this. Boy, B say you should be. How many you have on there? How many did you have? Uh, One song. I think it's how many songs you have on there? There's twelve songs. Twelve songs 12 should be twelve, 12, 12 videos. Calling the Bun B. Shout out to Bun B. Okay. Who saying these niggas got these DSLR cameras? Okay, <laughs> okay. I, I got I got my 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 eight more videos. <laughs> 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 we, got, we got maybe four, I'm going to say five videos off of the track. Let me come on. Yeah, yeah, we got five videos. Do you, okay, but with your five videos that you did, why did you choose those five to do the videos to compare to any of the other ones? What was so special about those five? Favoritism. Be honest with you, just I liked it those tracks better than. I so liked your it. favoritism, not your fans' not, favoritism. No, 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 not the fans' favoritism. Just, but I, I try to do, like you say, uh, albums. I mean, videos for all my songs. Mm -hmm. whether, you know, however, because I like all my favorite. I'm a fan of all my songs. But okay. At the end of the but day, you still just, gonna have preferences, like just like your kids. You right, love all right. your kids, but this one on that day is more favorritable right, than right. the other one. I heard Deion Sanders say that one time. He was like, "You alive? You don't say you, you exactly because it is a favorite child on different days." <laughs> <laughs> On different days. I get it. I get it. I get it. So same thing with your songs. Well, you know, the the moment you chose to do the video on that day, that song spoke to you. I would say that, yeah, definitely. But when I chose to do them videos on that day, that was just the vibe I was in, and that's what mm. I felt, yeah. But I still plan on doing a lot of the videos. That doing all of them. Song. Yeah. Even videos I ain't did from tracks way way back. Oh really you gonna yeah. go back and I'm do those? I'm gonna go back and yeah you know what they call throwback videos. Yeah. I'm gonna bring them back out. Dope okay. sales. Did you put that on there? Dope sales. I got an um, in studio performance video of that. Me and Frank Castle. That's a hard song. I think yeah. that, that you might like. It. That's the one. That's the one? Yeah. That's gonna get yeah, you. Yeah I knew it. I knew you gonna do me some. Yeah. <laughs> I need this man. I'm telling you man it's like it's on the market nigga. I need it. I need this bad. Yeah, Almost like a hit nigga. I need it. <laughs> 
How did you come up with that album cover, like the 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 with the cop car and all that? What made you go with that? The risky business man yeah. theory about um, a lot of my friends, man, that were involved in the streets. They 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 went down that alley, man, and you know it cost them their lives. It cost them their freedom. And um, like I told you, that that shit touched me a lot. It bothered me because a lot of them I was close to, and they was they was good friends. They took care of their family. And I felt like they didn't deserve what they was going through, you know what I mean? And um, it, it spoke for the title for a lot of people who choose that life, man. That's that shit a risky business, and you don't never know, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna end up? How you gonna come? Most of it is, is in jail, prison, or dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of three guys, it's very few that make it out that lifestyle. You know, it's very risky, and I. You know what I mean? Got to tell everybody about it. I just feel like it's my job to express that. Like, hey, this is what you're going to do. You better know what come with it. Yeah. And, you know, guys, just to, just so y'all know what I'm looking over at him. Uh, you know, I I got the white on because of him. You know, uh, when I interview <laughs> Sean, it's a it's a ritual we doing now. Everybody must wear white. I guess Miss Jamaica didn't get the memo. <laughs> she didn't get you know the memo. I didn't. You didn't to, tell me. You know, anytime you sit down with Shout, always leaving me out of the loop. Anytime you sit down with Shout, you got to have on white. Him and Lisa Ray got this thing going where they want a nigga to wear white. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely energy, man. I believe white um, deflects negative energy. Um, I believe it's a holy color, and um, I can't stand it. You can't. You just can't keep it clean. Exactly. But, That's uh, why I can't stand it. Aside from that, man, um, I love the feeling of, of being in white, man. It, just, it 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 gives me that feeling of joy to keep going, and um, even when I get down on stuff like just the color white. Keeps me from being so now. It's like you know what? I still got God. That's all that matters. All right. So when you be out there coaching your kids, yes, you being all white still. I do, except <laughs> for the games. I do that. I do that for the team. They be like, Coach, shout you gonna put on a, a jersey for? I'm like, you know yeah. what? On the game day, I'm gonna wear the team colors. But during the t- during the season when I'm coaching, I'm in all white, head to toe. Crazy man. man, I'm telling you right now, I, I got to get back to the music. Will you will you ever give us another one like advice, like with the kids? Oh, definitely. definitely. Cause I we I like to see that man. Like I said, I think that inspires others as well. You know, like like to see. You know what I mean? To to see that fathers, uh, parents. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, you do I'm, so much with your kids, right? And I'm, I'm be honest at my age, now I think my my music is changing in, into that. You know what I mean? That that. More, I don't want to, I guess you call it mature group of, yeah, of, of yeah. music to where I'm not rapping about a lot of the stuff I used to rap about. You know what I mean? Not that I can't, it's just that it don't excite me like yeah. it used to. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think my, my genre of music is kind of changing into a more a positive way. And I, you know what I mean? I appreciate it. I'm going to take it with it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's meant to be. That's just how it go. That's how God takes you the way he's supposed to take you. I got something for you, man. You know, I know you don't usually get. And you can opt out if you want to. No, nah, I ain't doing that. What's okay, up? Talk um, to me. what's gonna happen with P Diddy? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. You, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. What is he gonna be all right after the smoke settle? If the dust settle, nigga. Or is he going to you prison? Said, ask you anything? Oh, go oh, ask you on. anything. First of all, do you believe he you did? Go so. Do you believe that P Diddy did what they all these allegations? This is my theory because I I've been in this court system before. Every person is in, <laughs> into proving, proving guilty. guilty. <laughs> so that's my take on that for now. You know what I mean? And when 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 it comes out and the dust settles, we'll see. I think he's being attacked by a lot of uh, you know individuals just to get some money. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna say. I think a lot of it ain't true. Some of it may be. Some of it may be not. But we'll never know until like, right. the verdict comes out and they really got the evidence to convict this man of some type of criminal activity. Otherwise, he just living life. Yeah. You know what I mean? He ain't rape no, I mean, so-called body. If this was all voluntary, then we just overreacting. But if he did, then, you know, he needs to be punished. So. How do you think the social media have... And I know that influence. when you... Influence. Because then, you know, <laughs> when you in when you in the court... You and they pick their, you know, they go if they ever go to trial and they pick their 12, whatever. This is news that's been going everywhere, social media, whatever. You, you can't tell me that the 12 people there have never seen these memes, have never seen people talk about this it's, stuff, have never, you know. So people already, because everybody who we've asked, a lot of people we've asked, we like, well, 
He gotta be guilty All these people is Too many people affect the You know what I mean jury, right. right If if it goes to trial But he, They still gotta present Some type of evidence uh, You know what I mean A lot of his saying She say probably won't get by It's gonna They gonna need videos And audios And it's gonna have to be there for them to and really pictures. send this man. Yeah, it's gonna really have to be there to send this man to mm-hmm. prison. You know what I mean? Otherwise, they probably settle out and take the money they're looking for and be done with it. Mm. Let me ask you this: uh, on on another note, do you think Shannon Sharp being targeted by the internet with all these gestures that they're coming at him about? Shannon, Shannon Sharp. Sharp is doing some stuff that normally. That's because of how he's listen. saying. Normally, I don't know if he's trolling or what. Man, Shay Shay is winning, man. He definitely <laughs> winning. He don't matter what they talk about. He love it. They better keep talking about him no matter what he do. You know what I mean? Whatever his preference is, sexual, it don't matter, man. Shay Shay winning. Like the more they keep talking about him, the man they keep popping. Me personally, I like the man. Yeah, yeah. Shay Shay a cool nigga to me, man. Yeah, I love yeah. the way he... Club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay. I wouldn't let nobody call me Shay Shay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Where did that name even come from? Shannon Sharp. So he called himself Shay Shay. He, somebody must have called him that from a long no, time ago. He man. don't look like no Shay Shay. You never know. He, he, he do does, look like that name Shay Shay. Yeah, you know you got to catch him at different <laughs> angles, nigga. You can't just call that man that. If you don't catch him at the right angle, he don't look like Shay Shay. Hey, if he put hey, that makeup when on, he that, that makeup. When he jumped out that truck with whoa, the green thing, whoa, whoa. he look like Shay Shay. <laughs> he look like Shay Shay then. What, 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 what about when he had the makeup on? Did he purposely do that? I didn't see the makeup on. Oh, he has some deep, deep makeup on. I didn't see the makeup on. But didn't he purposely was that get out? ESPN first take. Okay, I seen that. Too. that. I seen that too. They they did bad. On me but did he purposely when he got out of the truck? Do you think he purposely did that just nah, because he know the, the internet? That's his body move. That's his movement. That's what that's uh-uh. him. Yeah, that's he, he come. Like he come like that. Shay Shay. And he, he come. And he come with the little with the little dude that be with him at the basketball game. Yeah. So he, I don't know what's going on. I'm just saying I don't I know. know. I don't know neither. But I don't know. From the fact I fuck with but him. I like him. him. He cool as hell. The man funny and he a hunter. He gonna speak the real. I don't know what all the other stuff is with him. And I don't know why he walk and talk the way he do. I don't know about all that. But the man cool as hell. The man funny and I fuck with his show. I fuck with him on first take. That my boy. I like Shay Shay. That's the end of the day. What did you think about the Cat Williams um, interview? That nigga crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Cat Williams throw it off of me. Bad nigga with him. I'm saying he go off, he got all these theories and ideas, but at the end of the day, I, me personally, I think Cat smoke crack. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, that's just me personally. I don't know if it's true or not. He on something to me. But since you think he's on something, do you think that people on some can run as fast as he's Whoa, saying? Whoa, yeah, whoa. Yeah, that nigga ran a 4 yeah, 3, yeah. 4 4 40. They ain't trying to get away from, they probably took something before they fast. <laughs> they, they like, yeah. You know that's what I'm saying. You ain't been catching no crack yet. Exactly. <laughs> that's why I said so many ways right to say it. But yeah, there you go. They ain't catch that man, man. Hey, I got to ask you, man, you know, um, you know, on another note, and it's very sad. Some people said it's warranted, though. Um, my girl, Wendy Williams, she going through it, man. But it's a lot of people reflecting back to the way that it was when she was on that show. And a lot of niggas saying, you know, like, oh, man. Yeah, a lot of niggas saying you reap what you sow and all kind of stuff. Like, to see her go through that is very sad. I mean, her eyes is wide open. I don't know what's going on, but uh, they do you think they should have did a documentary and showed her like that? I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't think she deserved it, neither. I don't I either. Mean, a lot of people do a lot worse shit than what she did and ain't got the punishment she get she health wise. Didn't. So, no, nah, she definitely don't deserve it. I don't that. think there's I would have no, put there, on that there's camera. No, there's no sin greater than the other. So, nah. the people who saying that she deserves this, if people turn around and look at their lives and the things that they've done, right, what do right. they deserve? Exactly, right. And there's a lot of chomo child molesters out here. I feel like they maybe they should have got that. You know what I mean? Why yeah. she? Why yeah. not? Why she didn't ever talk about people. But yeah. I do believe that they should have done this document for the main fact that it's bringing... Cause for the people who love her, maybe some people didn't realize all the things that she's going through. Well, so if, it brings if she hadn't have done it right, 
then the only thing we remember when she fell fell on that stage with that with, I think she was a Statue of Liberty or something and she fell out like she right. done went through a lot yeah like it ain't just been no easy win for at the end you know no. what I'm saying like, at the end of the day man prayers for Wendy man definitely a definitely. black woman and I, I wish the best for her and I hope I hope they'll get her money straight because I'm hearing they locked all her money down yeah, they probably like trying. they said the family can't even get it. The lawyers is pretty much got it, and they can't get it allegedly. That's the, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the corrupt side. I don't, See, that, that. I don't know how they working. I don't know how they She don't know who the hell to get it. They got it over there. You know, a nigga get that bag. It's hard to tell him. Like man, Hopefully get a bag of wheel or something. Man, you know it's mean? right now. But she then, but dead, then, but she then, yeah, yeah, but then when you're dealing with you know um, Alzheimer's or something like that, you got to think about how easily that person can be manipulated, and you. Have yeah, all of this money. That's why they probably locking this money up because you never know. All these vultures come into her, and I want this. I want that. And trying to convince her, so they're trying to secure the bag, whether it be for her son or whoever, because she only has one child. Right. So I, I think that's best, man. Because definitely, if she's not mentally stable, I think right. that's the best until they can figure out what to do. Yeah. Hopefully, they don't just take it. You know what I mean? And they find someone responsible, or someone close enough that. You know what I mean? You could take over her estate or her money. But, but lawyers yeah. cost. I'm pretty sure she got money. I'm pretty sure they trying to get it. <laughs> 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 she is. The lawyers yeah. trying to figure out, oh, well, you know, we charge. Uh, we'll deal with this. Let's just let's just talk about it. Let's right. just We're going to try yeah, to work yeah. this out. Per Ten hour. years go by. Ten years go by. They're they pitching. They they're they they not trying dry. to work it out at that point. Yeah. I don't think so. I think at some point it kicks in that we living off of this. Yeah, that could happen. It could. <laughs> it's very so, much a possibility. So, man, um, you know, again, you know, that just we just hit you with the segments of really like ongoing things that's happening in on the social media that we, you know, kind of kick into. There's a lot of things been happening. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, that nigga uh, uh, Cam Newton. He's a, mm -hmm. this nigga chunk niggas all over the place after football games, and he was trying to break some up. And I think he got That's the best stuff. I don't know. It looked real wild. I done heard a couple stories. I don't know. You know what I mean? I hear what they, story you heard? No, I heard they were yapping <laughs> back and forth. I heard him and the, and the man, they were yapping back and forth. The man got offended by how mm. Cam was talking. And, you know, he, he made his move on. It don't oh, look like they did nothing to the man or damaged the they man. They couldn't get him. Yeah, they couldn't deal with him. But I, I think it was just the exchange of words that got heated and, and got out of hand. That's what it looked like, you know what I mean? Yes. It's a good thing he didn't get no farther than that. No, it could have got bad. It could have got bad. It could have got ugly yeah, real yeah, fast. Yeah. I, I, I look at, like, like down here in Atlanta, um, is Atlanta still, you know, the driving force? Because it looks like Memphis is taking the wave on this music, man. Like, what's going on? Is Atlanta got that oomph that it had five years ago? That It, mm. it does, man, but we, I think we lost a lot of unity. In the city, um, that 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 that, that lady, um, <laughs> oh, she, oh, oh, don't say her name over here, nigga. <laughs> no, she, any nigga that go at Trump, I don't want to go at them, nigga. Don't say her name on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Don't do it. I'll just that lady. The lady right. did what? Cause I'm gonna be honest with a lot of niggas down here. They probably don't go out to Blue Flame like they used to. Right. And so a lot of people don't want to go down there dealing with that office down there where them scales ain't on the point. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, right. but no. it, it, do you think that's what's damaging? Do you think that's what's really causing the drawback when it come down to the music? Uh, man, I, I wouldn't say that, but I mean that takes an effect. You know what I mean? Cause I think um, why I sell aside from. You know the the criminal side of what they trying to paint of the picture. They also brought a lot of unity within when the, within the hood. You know what I mean? Yeah. The different zones or whatnot. You know what I mean? Of course, there's there's a good side and bad side to everything. You know what I mean? So, yeah. but at the end of the day, I think it made a lot of people kind of fall back from helping others and involving. Getting involved in this stuff, you know what I mean? Because people was they 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 feared for that that Rico charge, you know what I mean? As, as they should. Yeah. So I think um, it it broke a lot of people that were building cliques and turned them into individuals and just started thinking wiser about how to approach the music thing, man. Because a lot of people was clicked up out here, and I, you don't see that no more. You don't see it, but is yeah. but is the strip club still got money in them? Yeah, they still. Yeah, is the niggas still down here flooding the strip club with the money? Is I, is Magic City hurting? 
I no, nah, I don't believe that. I don't think Matt Sid ever hurt. It's blue flame hurting. I don't think that ever happened. You know them the original Don Dollars for me. Nah, so I don't think that the stroke is hurting. I, you know you have times when you know the economy is slow and that happens. But I don't think them clubs going nowhere, man. They they it's still going down. Day. It's going down, man. Yeah. Man. So tonight, if I decide to jump out there, where you at? What's the night? Thursday, Friday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Yeah, man. You can touch down in Magic. You have a crowd. Blue flame. I don't. I don't think. It's a fact. I mean, the economy is the way it is because, you know, what's going on with the world with the wars and stuff like that. So, of course, a lot of people holding back, saving back a lot of inflation going on, everything going up. So, of course, if you're wise and you got sense, you ain't not that you're blowing your money. No. You know what I'm saying? But as far as them falling off, I think them clubs, they, they know how to hold off. And they I think they don't survive enough recessions to, to know how to make it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do good during the recession. There you, there that's you what go. I get my money. People do good to drive. I'm serious. That's a what I get my money. People do good in the I'm drop in. <laughs> Niggas scared. Okay, I'm going out there. A lot of people do when good. When COVID hit, I started boss talk one on one because I knew nigga was scared to go outside. That's the way I think. It's right, like okay, right, it's an opportunity. Right. Oh, they scared. Right, that's right. how you got to be when it come down to it. To be honest with you, it when the going get tough. The tough get going. Tough get going, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how it has to work. That's how so, it has to go. So, man, I, I'm, you know, like, like I said, I'm looking forward, man, to every project you bring out. Uh, anything that you're doing, I'm doing, to be honest with you. When can we get you back to Texas, man? Uh, soon, soon, soon. Soon. Later, man. I know South by Southwest. What's the next That's weekend, coming up man? next week. I, I may pop out for you a day. You might pop out? At least for a Saturday. Come out there. I'm hearing yeah. a lot of people saying they coming, they going down there. Yeah, I, I probably won't come for the whole weekend because I, um, I got to be in Miami the weekend after that to do some videos. Like I said, I'm trying to catch up on a lot of yeah. visuals and stuff. But um, yeah, man, I'm thinking about coming out there Saturday just to vibe. And you still want to work around. with work with uh, Bun B? Bun B, Big X. Uh, you want to work with Big X? Man, it's a lot. That's, I'm telling you right now, that's the reason. Lil Flip. It's, that's Lil the reason, Flip, too. It's the reason I haven't put out the UGK album, man, the um, the Resurrection of Chad Butler album. Excuse me. That's the reason I ain't put that out a lot, because I felt like I needed more more love from the city of Texas, man, before yeah. I just do that. You know what I mean? As much as I love Chad Butler and Pimp C, I know how much that state respects him and looks at him the way they do. I didn't want no disrespect. I didn't want nobody from y'all town or from Houston to feel no type of way about it. And I want to involve the people that really know him. So yeah. producers that was on that, people who um actually did tracks with Pimp C O was involved with I want them Corey to be, Mo out here. Corey Mo, all of them. I wanted to be involved with yeah. the project. You know what I mean? I didn't want it to be just me. I wanted to be a group of people that's in love with Chad Butler or uh, you know, we had that type of respect for Chad Butler and put it all together, and that's how that's that's what really held back the album. But me. just let me know whatever I can do, man. Shout out to Steve Belo, right. uh, that's one of the main. Uh, that's uh, Pimp, according to Bum B, that's Pimp C protege. Um, also, Bobo, shout out to Bobo Luciano. You need to come and do his show, and when you come to Dallas, he got a, he got a, a super tight TV, okay. a podcast, and you need to do that because that was I don't know if you remember when Pimp did that song. He said, "My man Bobo just lost his baby in a house, house fire. fire." Bobo got super okay. tight, sure. so you need to you need to link up with him when you come to see me. Of course, I'm gonna link you up with him, and uh, we just gonna we gonna start you know stirring the pot, get you with Bun Bun or, or Kiki, little Kiki. That's another solid one. Yeah, that, little, that, that'll man. be that'll be so hard if you and him did something together. So we're gonna figure it out. This nah, Texas talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely make the link. Definitely <laughs> this make Texas talk, because you always come seal, so I'm like, I know you love the state and you got people in Fort Worth. And of course, my family from them my dad's side of the family yeah. from Fort Worth, Texas. So with Funky Town, ain't that what they call Funky it? Funky Town. And they what they call it. The boys ain't come <laughs> to the DF dub. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? Man, so hey, man, listen, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I love you, brother. You like my brother. Oh, wait, I ain't, I ain't for the play about you either. How can people get a hold of you? Wait. Oh man, same thing. PGL shout Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Google, uh, you name it, man. PGL shout on all platforms. Y'all tap in with me. Wow. Where's the PGL sh chain? Uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. you know, uh -oh. you know, man. They have it all. We, we just, hey, we, uh, uh, my boy Derez had his yeah, on last yes. night. Right, right, right. right. I, I just kept it like caught that nigga oh, slipping. Okay. You caught that nigga slipping. Like oh, no, I was like, that's not normal. Like, it, it's the PGF is still there. Oh, it is okay. Okay. Yeah, small. Yeah. Okay, I got it's you. It sure is. Yeah, it's yeah. there. You always got. So you always have that brand. You, that PGF, that putting God first. Definitely. That's what does that mean to you when I say that before we get out of here? It means everything. 
uh, that's the way how I get through life. That's what I teach my kids to always put God first. Cause um, it's gonna be some times in life where it get hard, and it ain't gonna be nobody who can help you. Come on now, it ain't gonna be nobody who can help you. You gonna have to call on, on that man. Man, yeah, and, that's real. You gotta know to always have that faith, have that belief in God. You know what I mean, so that need to be installed into every youth. And um, I think that's just something I ran with through life. Like I, I've been in them situations where I ain't had nobody else to call on. So I come know. on, it's time to call on it. Yeah, I know how it is when you gotta always show appreciation to the man that got you through them hard times. Man, thank you for coming on the show, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One, where the bosses talk. That and way. we out. <laughs>